Elon Musk says we have reached singularity in AI. Is it true? More AI news on Telegram, two interesting hardware products, is Notion getting more involved in AI, XAI and Grok definitely didn't sleep over Christmas, more AI news and rumors are he. Let's dive in. This is Tomasz Czarnowski from the Tomas AI channel. In 11 years, our marketing agency has generated over 50 million US dollars in profitable revenue for our clients. And thanks to AI, we deliver more sales and leads to them and also build their brand more efficiently and faster. My challenge for you is simple. I publish videos about AI almost every day. And if you keep watching this YouTube channel, taking notes, testing and trying things out until the end of June 2026, you will be able to work with AI better than 99% of people and companies. And that is my mission. Let's go, guys. So the first news is that uh, the founder of, uh, of uh, Midjourney, as you already know, Midjourney is one, what was one of the first AI image generation platforms, uh, basically mentioned on Twitter or on X, I've done more personal coding projects over Christmas break than I have in the last 10 years. It's crazy. I can sense the limitations, but I know, quote unquote, nothing is going to be the same anymore. And he's referencing or referring to the, you know, wipe coding, AI coding, etc., etc. Elon Musk replies, we have entered the singularity. That's important, guys, because not, not all of the people actually understand what singularity in AI means. So in the context of artificial intelligence, the technological singularity refers to a hypothetical future point where technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible, irreversible resulting in unfathomable changes to human civilization. Here is what it means to reach this singularity. Intelligence explosion. The core idea is, the, is that once an AI reaches a level of intelligence equal to a human, artificial general intelligence or AGI, it will be able to perform its own research and engineering. Because it operates at a digital speed, it could redesign itself or create a successor that is even more capable. This creates a feedback loop known as an intelligence explosion, where the AI's capability grows exponentially, far surpassing human biological limits. The event horizon, uh, another one, key characteristics, recursive self-improvement, irreversibility, transcendence. It often implies a merger between human and machine intelligence, uh, for example, neural interfaces, or the total replacement of biological cognitive processes with synthetic, synthet, synthetic ones. Uh, for example, Ray Kurzweil, a prominent futurist, has famously predicted the singularity will occur by 2045. However, due to recent breakthroughs in, in reasoning models and synthetic data, uh, some industry leaders now estimate that, this, that the precursor AGI could arrive as early as the late 2020s. So, is Elon Musk right or wrong? We will find out. Next up, we have the Telegram AI update. And uh, Telegram AI update means that Telegram released its first AI feature Covered by Cocoon, new AI summaries will become available on long-form posts and instant view pages. There you go. Uh, the this feature is powered by open source models running on confidential compute open network created by Telegram. There you go. Uh, as you can see, Manos app has been marked with from Meta label down there. Uh, uh, if you uh, regularly watch the videos on this channel, you already know that uh, Manos AI was bought by Meta uh, Meta AI uh, for uh, I don't know uh, the exact price, but the range is mentioned in the yesterday's video. So definitely go there, check it out, so you won't miss it. And this one is really interesting. A new communicator device has been announced by Clicks, prioritizing messaging experience along with a QWER, QWERTY keyboard. Considering that uh, AI agents will be doing most of the work for you, this will be an exciting bet. Uh, it's mentioning testing catalog on threads or on X, X.com. Uh, and I think that's really important because, guys, 
we are basically entering the era where uh, we expect or people in AI expect that AI agents will do uh, the writing or the, all the stuff, you know, the emails, replies to messages, etc. for you. And if not, you will be able to basically voice communicate with these devices. You will basically be able to dictate what you want to be uh, said or mentioned or send a voice message and it will do it for you. But Clicks, the the uh, the company that basically provided a keyboard for, for example, iPhone. So you have you had the case, and under your phone there there was in the case uh, the you know physical keyboard. So you can have basically more space on the screen for other things. So they are bringing or they are trying to innovate that. So there is a second version of this keyboard, basically magnetic attached to your, uh, if I'm not mistaken, to your back of your iPhone to this side where you have the magnet inside the iPhone, the MagSafe, and you will basically slide it down like this. But this is not uh, what you are actually seeing right now uh, on the display, on the on the screen. On the screen, you can see the another uh, physical product uh, innovated and delivered by them, and it's called Communicator. And what it does is it basically focuses on a communication. It's a small smartphone connected to internet, eSIM there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you have physical uh, you, have, you have physical keyboard, something like a BlackBerry. Uh, and you have also, you know, the display is also touchable. You have the, you know, uh, camera in the back, camera in the front. You have some uh, uh, buttons there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let me know now what do you think about it. If you would bought it, if you if you would buy it uh, as your second phone, or if you would buy it as your main phone, and if you would use it, uh, for example, for you know, messaging, emails, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, before we dive into uh, other other AI news, uh, we are literally building on this channel one of the biggest AI channels out there uh, uh, on the YouTube, but I can't pull this one off by myself. Uh, I would definitely need your help, and that helps would come in the form of subscribing and also clicking on the bell icon with notification and also liking this video out. Because without that, without your support, guys, I won't be able and we won't be able to create this uh, channel to one of the biggest AI channels out there on the internet. So I highly appreciate uh, your feedback. I highly appreciate your support of this channel. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for doing that. I'm totally pumped to have you on the team with us uh, as a fan that's supporting this channel, supporting these videos. Thank you for that. Back to those uh, another AI news. There you have another hardware. Uh, this one is AI uh, based or AI AI features inside, and it's called Pickle, uh, and the product is called Pickle One. New smart glasses with its own Pickle OS and unique design. Uh, U.S. shipping is is expected to start in Q2 2026, and international orders will be shipped closer to the uh, end of the year. I don't know. If it will be, uh, you know, if it will work, uh, uh, works or not, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but what I, I don't say I know, but what I predict for the year 2026 is that there will be a lot of companies with AI AR glasses uh, selling us this type of product, and I really think that uh, this is, you know the new smartphone or, you know, the new smart, uh, smart watches, et cetera, et cetera, uh, that's, uh, that's basically coming to us. So let me know in the comment section if you would be interested in buying these. XAI introduced Grok for Business and Grok Enterprise Plans. Grok for Business comes at $30 per seat. And also there are more features coming soon. Uh, for example, advanced and customizable agents, improved sharing and collaboration, also new connections, etc. etc. So XAI, well done. Notion might soon introduce AI credits for AI-first workspaces to let, uh, to let power users to purchase more AI usage for their organizations. This, is, this one is from Testing Catalog. Shout out to you. Thanks for this uh, news. This one is really crazy, guys, because Adobe entered a multi-year strategic partnership with Runway. Adobe will be Runway's preferred API creativity partner, offering creators exclusive early access to Runway's new models, starting with Runway's Gen 4.5, which is now available on the uh, in the Adobe Firefly app. So if you are a 
uh, Adobe fan or Adobe user, let me know in the comment section if this is something that you would uh, th that you would use. Also, Notion is working on image generation support. Uh, at least their upcoming custom AI agents will be able to generate images. Which image gen model will use it? Uh, that's the question. But I highly support that the Notion will have this feature inside itself. Because, for example, we are uh, using heavily Notion in our company for, you know, uh, management of data, CRM, a lot of other tools. So, yeah, a lot of other use cases. ZAI, uh, a company beh behind GLM model family, is going for an IPO on January 8th and set to raise 560 million US dollars. Chinese AI firm Knowledge Atlas seeks a 4.35 billion in Hong Kong IPO. So, you know, a lot of IPOs coming with these AI companies. That's another prediction for uh, 2026 from me. So be basically careful in what you invest and what you put money because a lot of these companies can actually go back to zero. So just be mindful, be careful. Minimax M2.1 secures sixth spot on web development arena, becoming a leading open source model in this category, and also sixth overall, uh, you know, after Gemini 3 Flash, Gemini 3 Pro, Cloud Opus 4.5, GPT 5.2 High, and also Cloud Opus 4.5, thinking 32K. Grok Imagine on the web now supports uh, five different aspect ratios for image and video generation. As you can see here on the uh, right hand side, uh, that's a really good feature because uh, if you're generating images, uh, there's also, uh, you should definitely know in what aspect ratio it will be because you might be generating that for stories or reels or, uh, you know, social media platforms, or you can be generating that for, you know, thumbnail for your videos or for some blog post uh, or some article on your website. So it's, uh, it's a good thing. Manus AI acquired by Meta, which you already know if you watch this channel. If you don't know uh, what it brings and why is it uh, why this is so important, definitely go check out like yesterday's video on, on this channel. Uh, and uh, basically, the Manus AI is current uh, is current SOTA, which is state of the art with a 2.5% achievement on the Remote Labor Index benchmark. Uh, which was introduced by Meta. The remote Labor Index measures AI automation of remote work. Soon to know, soon to know. A notion is working on custom AI agents that will work as your AI co-workers. Definitely, definitely a great, uh, great way to uh, dive in 2026 for uh, Notion AI. Notion agents can be triggered via a schedule tagging on Slack or a Notion page or database change. A real AI first workspace soon. I assume that Notion is working heavily on that because if you have the database, if you have the data, if you have the CRM all connected to your Notion, you know, pages, decks, whatever, uh, tables, um, databases, then if you connect it with uh, uh, AI agents, custom AI agents, uh, I assume that this is gonna this is gonna blow it, and it's gonna be a super important one. GLM 4.7 lands in sixth place on the Artificial Analysis Intelligence Index, surpassing Kimi K2 Thinking. As you can see, 67 points, Kimi K2 Thinking, GLM 4.7, 68 point, uh, uh, points. GPT 5.1 Codex, 67 again, and there you have uh, five better tools than GLM 4.7, GPT 5.1 High, Cloud Opus 4.5, Gemini 3 Flash, Gemini uh, 3 Pro, Preview High, and GPT 5.2 X High. So, really decent one, guys, and I think that GLM and ZAI is definitely onto something. So this is it, guys. This is everything that I have for you in this AI news and rumors. I would highly appreciate and thank you very much for everybody uh, that basically support this channel by subscribing, hitting the bell icon, and also uh, liking this video out. If you have any questions regarding that or personal opinions on these AI news tools, 
or on the singularity thing uh, that Elon um, tweeted, definitely leave a comment. I read all of the comments and I reply to all of these comments on this channel. So uh, let's dive in. Definitely don't forget to check yesterday's video. It's really important to do it. And also I will see you tomorrow with the next one. Cheers.